What's up guys, main man Sui, I hope you're all doing awesome as always, and this is going to be an interesting one, an interesting commentary to make. This is Arslan Ash versus Fighting GM. Arslan Ash needs no introduction, I think he was at an event in New York, and he's here doing a first to ten versus Fighting GM. I think they did m multiple of them, but this, this one is on YouTube, I was asked to do some commentary on this by a fellow player. And um, this is interesting because you, you probably know who Arslan Ash is. I mean, unless you've been living under literally like 50 pounds of rocks the last year, uh, you know who he is. But Fighting GM is a legendary American Lee player who um, really made a name uh, for himself during the Tekken 6 era. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is where I remember him the most from. Tekken 6 and then Tag 2 pretty early era and then I feel like he dropped off somewhat and then comes back in Tekken 7 and he, suddenly he's playing Geese and Lee and he has a really strong Geese but his Lee is really truly remarkable and here you know in the US you have these character enthusiasts like really much more so than in many other regions for Tekken like you have Anakin with Jack he plays Jack no matter what and then you have, of course, Mr. Naps uh, or Jimmy with Brian, one of the most, you know, um, classic examples of, you know, someone who really is dedicated to one character. And then you have Lil Majin with King, also a good example of that. And then Fighting GM with Lee, a character everyone brushes off, you know, as, you know, pretty crap in Tekken 7. But uh, I hear he did really well in this set. So, uh, yeah, this could be really cool to watch. Kazumi still super strong and got second place at Tekken World Tour, uh, utilized by Ulsan, only lost to Shikurin in the grand finals. And of course, Arsene Ash, one of the absolute best players in the world. I would still regard him actually as the best player in the world. Uh, although he didn't do very well in the Tekken World Tour finals, I believe he was a tad rusty. But of course, we'll, we'll see how he does uh, in future events. I'm hoping for the best for the guy. He's, he seems like a really cool guy. But uh, yeah, Fighting GM is, a, is someone uh, most people, I think, just don't know about. He just hasn't been, act, been very active uh, for a while. But I guess this... Uh, I did see him in a tournament a, few, a month back or something, a few months back. Uh, I think maybe he is going to try and uh, do a big competitive uh, comeback. It would be really nice. And uh, God knows we'd love to see some more Lee. Uh, one of the coolest characters in the game, uh, full of elegance and hype and some of the coolest animations in the game. And yeah, no one really plays him. And why? Because he's super challenging, yeah, super hard and um, the overall output of a character just isn't that strong. And um, I think most people will say that he was stronger in Season 2 rather than Season 3. But the buff Ford Ford 3 is nice. And while standing 2 free into Ford Ford 3 is much easier now, which well, helps quite a bit. But so, first match here 2 to 1 uh, in rounds. Looks like Arsenal Nash is gonna take the first match. Oh, wow! Look at that hop kick and beautiful punish. Does acid rain just like that as a 10 frame punish? As in your dreams as a Lee player, you'd love to be able to do that, but it's very hard. But this should be it. Huge damage and wall pressure. No, gets the rage drive. Oh! And got the wall. I thought that was a side wall splat. I thought it would drop. So now they're even in rounds. Nice punish. Nice Stanford one too. Blocks the tiger. Used it as a projectile. You don't see that very often. But big countered back four. Of course, one of Lee's greatest strengths. Drops the combo. Down free counter it. Drops that combo as well. Fighting GM, obviously a very technically skilled player. You know, he plays Lee for a reason. He's tried Geese for a reason. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and then he dropped the, the acid rain. Hmm. But still, closes it out very neatly here versus Arslan, so takes the first match. Uh, beautiful play by GM. I really, really hope this means we're, we're going to see a lot of him in the future. Uh, yeah, what is it with the US and having just a couple of like incredible players 
and they are all pretty damn dedicated to their characters, no matter what tier those characters are in. Um, you can't help but being very inspired by that. Uh, you gotta respect that. Like this is the way Arslan plays in the zoom. He likes to stay at that range, draw it down for two. He likes to put up, nice. like, imagine there's like a wall in front, of, in front of him, especially when he's at range. He likes to use a jab a lot as well as just a check move. If you can pan it, if you can outplay him at this close up range, uh, you can beat his Kazumi. Oh no, big magic four. And that's gonna be a wall, obviously. Mm. Now he gets wall pressure. But still, oh, big counter it. So it's quite the life lead here for GM. Two more pokes and he has the match. Oh, one plus two. Very nice. So one plus two into Hitman has uh, better frames in season three. And that's a nice buff. You just saw GM utilize it. Went into Hitman, but then canceled the Hitman and went into a downback four. Low poke. So quite the mix-ups. Ah, that's so risky, but you see, no punish. You can mix that up so much for free, 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 free. The Acid Storm. One of the coolest moves in the game, and thankfully it's it actually has good utility. It would be such a waste if one of the coolest moves ever was just completely worthless. Is he gonna get a launch? No. Down two. Very nice. 1-1 one, one in rounds. Very even. I'm just gonna stress also that I will not be watching the entire first to 10, it's 15 minutes and uh, I just don't have the time right now, but I'll, I'll link it in the comment section so you can watch it. Nice slide. Oh, forward, forward, three for breakfast. Oh, one plus two counter it and that's gonna be dead. Very nice. God, these combos, combos are so cool. 1 plus 2 Hitman, Damage 3. Nice, again, down 3 Hitman into Slide. It's so nice that he goes into Hitman just to get better frames and then just doesn't use Hitman. But that's also a mix up, of course, not utilizing hit Hitman. Oh, forward, forward, four. Is that gonna be Wall? Oh, very nice. I thought he was maybe gonna gamble and do the rage art on the wall stun, but yeah, that that would have uh, that would have dropped. Sometimes you really can't help going for you know the massive super cool combo, even though you know it's probably not gonna work. <laughs> you just end up killing yourself. But GM was smarter than that. Government names. Don't don't fucking throw my government out there. I don't even government names. I don't even get dots. I mean, me and... But honestly, how often do you get to watch Lee porn like this? You know, R Slammers is a Lee player. It's like, it just never happens. And here just happens to be an amazing Lee player, you know, GM. I wonder if... Who, who does better with Lee? Him or... I mean, I'm your father from Korea is considered to be the best Lee in the world. But the thing is, like, GM in his prime, like, Tekken 6, Tag 2, holy shit. And here you can see him do very well versus Arslan. Nice combo there. I wonder who is the best Lee. But, yeah, right now, it, cer it certainly has to be I'm your father or GM. One running two, one running two. Oh, nice. Damn. Good call with the power crush. He did catch uh, Arslan doing jabs, but still recovered so quickly that he had time to hit him in the power crush twice. Boom, boom. And then duck the power crush. So that's very unlucky for GM. Nice block. Nice punish. Great poking here by Arslan. Very nice steps there by GM. Oh, big counter hit on the machine gun kicks. Drops the combo, though, unfortunately, but still has a wall pressure. Nice punish on Ford Ford Free. Oh, big back four. And the slide do. What's for breakfast? Down back free. It's a down for one, two, and that's a rage art, and that's going to be it. That's actually going to be overkill. 
Eesh. Uh, well done by Arslan. So again, 2-1. to one. We've seen this before in this set. Arslan has a round lead, 2-1. to one, And then GM gets the comeback. Big uh, just frame move. Well, it's an easy just frame. Back 1-1-2. One, one, uh, big damage there. Oh, big forward forward free. Did he catch him pressing? Was that a counter it? Eesh. And now, disgusting Oki. Nice throw break. You do want to break that. Well, you want to break all throws, but her her command throw there at the wall is just so disgusting. Oh, both in rage. Very nice. Machine gun into downfall one. Is he going to get another comeback here versus Arslanu? So, anyone's match here. Final round. The all important third match of a first to ten. It has to be not very. It has to really kill the morale of your opponent to go up with three matches to zero at the start of a first to ten. Is that wall? It is. Very nice. And the slide to mix up. Oh, Ford Ford Free. Again. Look at the placing of those moves. Damn, such good reads. And he was, he's making Lee look overpowered. Nerf Lee. It's kind of funny that Lee was nerfed for Season 3. Season 4, Lee nerfed again along with Gigas. Fixed an issue where Gigas could block. So, goddamn, 3-0 free, free here. A very nice low parry. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Beautifully done. This is going to be a wall. It's such a small stage on that angle. <laughs> He's really making those while standing mix ups. Oh, full Lee's full crouch mix ups look really strong here when GM's using them. Oh, big counter. It gets the follow-up. Oof. Oh, another counter. It drops the follow-up immediately into low parry. <sighs> Disgusting round. Any Tekken character would just look overpowered in, in the hands of a very capable player. But Lee looks extra overpowered because everything looks so cool that he's doing. <laughs> oh my god, no! Nice. So I missed what was so funny. I, I can hardly hear the commentators. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. Uh, so both enraged and gets to counter it. Jesus, really? 4 to 0 versus Arsenal's Kazumi? So does it does it work when the game is over? So I can say that GM is now. Jesus. Gonna no, he's gonna switch to geese. Oh, hey, I'm guessing. guessing. Are you supposed to stop that? Uh, it should be one more. Yeah, he's switching to geese. Okay. Well, wow. All right. So Jesus, and that's Arslan's Kazumi. So I'm gonna watch another six minutes. That's what I, am, I have time for today. But again, I'm going to link the whole set so you can watch it on your own. We'll see how he does with uh, Geese. Lee is pretty even in the poking game. He's better Geese. in the counter game and he's better in the damage potential game. So, but now hmm. we got Geese. We got meter. We got robber. I mean, Geese has worse poking than Kazumi. Yeah, just like, as good uh, poking. I, I'm just like that's quite I'm obvious. Like but Geese has a lot of tricks. <laughs> Hell's get on it now. I'll, I'll just watch. It's if you don't want to say what you want to say, then what are I'll you here for? And ah. It's like Geese. Uh, Kazumi's punishment is much better than Geese. But the thing is, Lee, on most of his key moves, he's kind of safe-ish, you know, like uh, back four. You, you, just, you And down for one and the ma magic four. It's the lows you really want to punish. And down three, of course, being minus 15. Geese can launch yeah, that. You see now, the way GM is playing now, he's playing so much more nice. tentatively. Right. 
He's like being like really careful. He doesn't want to give Arslan any big chance to explode his life bar. Because he's aware of why he's pushing Well, uh, that, that he still like doesn't have... As soon as he gets a meter here, um, GM is going to be, uh, be very, very careful. Because then you're a standing 15 frame mid away from dying, basically. Now he, ha now he has a bar. So now the matchup completely changes. And Ge Geese can kill you outright. And now he has rage, and it's even worse. Now he he dies, if he eats a launcher. Oh. Uh, Paul used to be the god of comeback uh, in rage, but I think it's Geese now. Ge well, we're both crazy, but Geese is even worse than Paul. If you have the execution with Geese and you have one bar and rage, you can just kill your opponent with one launch. No, oh, didn't get the whiff punish there. I thought he would. But uh, okay, GM up two rounds. God, he's spends one because he has another one to spare. And with Lee of all characters. Let's just face it, you know, anyone doing this to Arslan is very impressive, going up 4-0 like this. But if it was another Pakistani using Akuma, you'd say, mm, okay. But here's an American player. And doing that with any character, you'd say, holy smokes. But now it's an American and it's a Lee player. And then it, that's when it goes like, you know, into a complete disbelief territory. But now, yeah, Arslan answered back, took a round. Nice roll break. Oh, that's gonna... Oh no, back to whiffed. I thought he was gonna get a full jungle. Yeah, Leroy and Genji are allowed. Nice parry. Nice parry indeed. Yeah. And yeah. gets a full crouch mix up again. Damn. 5 0? -oh? I don't know what Arshan should do. I'm just enjoying the show, dude. <laughs> get away from Negan stage, yeah. <laughs> I, I mentally can't stand this stage anymore. I've gotten my ass is so sore, you know, I've been destroyed five times over now in the same place looking at that ugly old van. And then you random what stage? Last day on earth. Naturally. If if this would have been me, I would have randomed an infinite stage. And then I would have tried again to random a new stage and I would get another infinite stage. That's my luck. So uh, I'll watch one more fight. I mean, Twitter just tells me, Twitter and Twitch chat just tells me to mash on down one plus two and back one plus two. And you know what? They're kind of right. But <laughs> I mean, are they wrong? I was about to say. No, they're right. Just pick two T and then just mash down one plus two. What are they going to do? Is Maurice in the rotation? Nice little what, oh, what a nice guy. I mean, so did I. Mm, relentless pressure here from Arslan, not giving GM any space. Oh, sick magic four. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of damage. His health is so low, and then Arslan is gonna wake up in a terrible position at the wall. Oh, not at all a terrible position. Uh, Lee's rage art marks them far away. <laughs> Oh, down for two, very nice. Still so such a strong move near the wall. Nice. Big sidestep into Acid Storm. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it goes for Oki, nice. Oh, blocks to mix up. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So Leroy's back one plus two is called Outcast Arrow. Wow, we were, we were, I was there when you figured that out. Leroy also has a bunch of Dragon Name moves, like he's like long mm. or something. Such mileage he gets from just, those uh, machine gun kicks. And here, this is the bar damage from Geese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laws, Laws 
one into this is gonna poison. hurt. So I just like to remember, it's like yeah. an arrow. It's and now you gotta wake up at the wall, sidestep free, plus four on hit, and you're pressured to death. And that's a match for Arslan. And I'm guessing he's gonna get. He's starting a comeback there, as you can see. We're not too far into the video. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of time left. It's 5 to 1, so Arslan is going to win more matches. So I'm gonna watch the rest of this on my own at a later point because I have so much to do right now. But I hope you enjoy the commentary, and I'm gonna link the video below so you can check the whole thing. But uh, those of you who really like watching Lee, like, uh, rejoice in that. Uh, looks like we're gonna, going to see more of GM in the future. And we'll see if he will get the title of best Lee in the world. It certainly looks like he is a uh, front runner for the title. So, uh, take care and have a nice day.